I mean, it feels great. Mainly, I mean, first off, Jasper's a great program. It's great to see two tradition-rich programs hey, bouting out like that. But seeing all my ex-teammates from 2006 here in the stands, it feels nice to kind of avenge this a little bit. And especially for these players. They worked hard for it, and it's just good to see the success pay off. Well, you know, everything that's happened over the last week, week and a half is just unbelievable. And for it to end like this is just it's a dream come true. Uh, it's just, like I said, it's unbelievable, overwhelming, um, and just amazing. What do, you, what do you say to yourself as you walk to the mound knowing you need three outs to, to win the championship? I'm going to get the three outs. Uh, I love that position. I love being in that position. Um, and for me to close it out, uh, I don't think I could have ended my career any better. Like, well, I'm still trying to let it all sink in, but, uh, you know, um, I like to make things about these boys in this community. You know, they've uh, what great support. And these kids from day one in the fall have worked hard and done everything I've asked. We knew that we were a talented group. We just had to be a team. And maybe that's what I'm the most proud of. You know, they're a tight-knit team now that has each other's back. And, you know, uh, I, you know, I, I tell you what, here's the deal. We hate to see the season end. We have a lot of fun together, and they have fun with each other. And we kind of hate for this thing to be over. Uh, but it is, and uh, what a way to end it. And I'm um, uh, very proud and happy for them. And, uh, yeah, I'm very, very blessed, no question. What was your feeling when uh, Van Meter went out to the mound for the seventh inning? You know. I just have all the confidence in the world in him, and I should because he's just an unbelievable kid, you know. The, the reason he, I'm going to go to major league games and get to watch him play is because of his heart and competitive desire, you know, and just whatever he sets his mind to, he's got the will to do it, and that's why he was pitching, and uh, I, I, I mean, I, to sound trite or overcommon or kind, I, just, I felt confident with him pitching, no question. Coach, um, you guys left some guys on base, but the one man who didn't do that was uh, was Jonah. He, you know, he took care of business yeah, twice. Yeah. Uh, how's that feel? You know, you know, he came up big two times for you guys. Yeah. Well, you know, the leaving guys on base, we've kind of done that all year because we've been a good hitting team. I mean, teams that don't teams that don't hit well don't get a lot of guys on base and don't leave a lot of guys. Sure, you're going to try to score them every inning you can. You'd like to, but that's not going to happen in baseball. So, you know, I like the fact that we got you know seven hits. You know, left some guys on, yes, but. From there, Jonah Patton, here's the deal with him. He's such a talented pitcher. He's going to Arkansas. I'm glad he's back next year. But what I tell people, no question, he's an outstanding baseball player, not just a pitcher. Plays a great shortstop, two clutch hits, and uh, again, uh, yeah, he'll go down in history with Norwalk for sure. Uh, back behind the plate with uh, Van Meter on the mound, uh, coming into the seventh inning. Well, what were you thinking uh, about the way he had pitched so far? Uh, I had all the confidence in the world with him. Uh, I mean, he pitched a great game all, all night long, and uh, I knew he'd be able to come out and finish it up. They, and uh, they had 789 left, so I, I was feeling pretty good about it. All you guys uh, starting out uh, last fall and uh, coming together this season then, when the spring started, uh, this is uh, the dream uh, unbelievable at this point? It's, it's still hard to believe right now, but... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna cherish this and uh, enjoy it on the way home, and uh, just a great bunch of guys here. I love them all to death, and uh, couldn't ask to have a better team. Uh, the way uh, you know uh, Jonah stepped up tonight and uh, got drove in the two runs, uh, very big, uh, the game winner with the double. What did you think when you saw it uh, get head out to right field? Uh, that was a great feeling. Uh, when we seen that final run or that next run come in, it was just a great feeling. Just get that lead, and that's where we're that's where we get uh, we're comfortable when we get the lead. And just great feeling. And yeah. All the confidence. In. Austin Detmer, center fielder. Uh, you watch, you you come out in the fall, and you just uh, with this group of seniors. Uh, does is this uh, a a good way to end? But then also. A, uh, the fact that the season is over for you, uh, hard to hard to believe. Yeah, I mean it's a little bittersweet leaving all these guys, but I mean this is uh, there's no better way to go out except for this. I mean, state champion since we were a freshman, that's was our goal to get a blue ring out by our senior leader at least, or not a couple of them, and uh, we got it done. We beat them two to one. Couldn't be more proud of these guys. Yeah, uh, you know, just watching uh, the way uh, uh, Van Meter was out there pitching. He uh, seemed to get more dominant as uh, season as the 
the innings went on. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a competitor. He, he competes every game. I mean, give him the ball. We know that we're going to have a good, a good game out of him. And uh, he, he, uh, he, the semi-state, the regional championship, and, uh, and state, he asked for the ball. And we knew that he'd, he'd uh, give us a good chance to win. Uh -huh.